Good afternoon, uh, my paint pouring community. Uh, thank you for joining me. It's Jilly Koo, um, Queensland, Australia. If you're wondering where I was from, somebody said that I haven't got a very Australian accent. Well, I originally was from um, England, but over 35 years ago now, and been living in Australia ever since. And I was originally from Birmingham in the United Kingdom, which has a very distinct accent that's very hard to lose. So I'm obviously not gonna lose my accent now, and I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, today I'm gonna pour on this. Uh, happens every time I start a video, husband turns up, dogs start barking. Oh gosh stuck to the bottom of my because I had paint on the bottom there so but yeah this is a 35 centimeter uh, MDF round board that I get from Kmart Australia um, I believe the Kmart's in other countries have closed down or not functioning anymore but it doesn't mean to say it's, it's a, actually a placemat and um, you can get them from most places I think an MDF so that, that's what I'm going to pour on today, and it's got the one sides already painted. <laughs> <laughs> Husband's coming, and he's going to be cheeky. I know it. Just say what you need to say, John, and then. <laughs> oh, I thought you were in the pool having a so. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say it's about 35 degrees Celsius. So what's that Fahrenheit? Close to 100 degrees oh, Fahrenheit. Um, somebody asked me there. <laughs> So yeah, he thought I'd be in the pool, but I'll do this pour and then I'll get in the pool. Yes, I think I'm going in the pool. he's going in the pool with a beer. That sounds really good. But yeah, I need to get this um, studio air conditioned so I can work out here in comfort. Or is that pushing my luck, darling? <laughs> okay, sorry about that, I've got to concentrate. I'm going to do um, this round with my Swifty Swipe tool that I've showed you before that I made out of, I just cut some uh, soft plastic vial divider into, you can make it into any shape, you could do it smaller and I just use one of my old spatulas which has got that angled, I'm not sure what angle you would call that John, do you know? No. Well it, it just works good because it gives you more control to be able to swipe, so I'm thinking of doing a starburst swipe on this round. Uh, I'm not copying anyone. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh dear. That's another story but we shouldn't go into right now. Oh, yeah. So let me get, yeah I've made, I've made, I'll put some fresh um, plastic on there and all I do is just tape the top with my um, masking tape. So this I can make into a clock and I've just received uh, clock mechanism that I will drill the center and I'll put this clock mechanism in which um, the online supplier that I get all my gear from they now sell the clock mechanism so um, for making the clock I've still got another one that I want to make into a clock here but I haven't quite got round to it because I've had so many projects but that's great that they sell them now because I haven't got a search around for them so the link to all the products I use will be in the drop down box to the online supplier so I'm going to use my crudely made Swifty swipe for this spiral pour let's get down to it okay gloves gloves would be a good idea yeah the sooner I get it finished then the sooner I can join my husband in the pool <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty hot today, about, yeah, like I said, about 35. So I know 38 is um, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So I am keep reusing these with dishwashing gloves, I've said before. I've just, they usually last about six weeks, and I do a lot of painting, so that's pretty good. I just go to the sink and wash my hands off after. Um, you know, and I just use them till they're dead. So it saves using the disposable ones every single day. Okay, let's get to it. Easy whizzy, let's get busy. Right, I'm just trying to think if I 
swiping white today, which I might do. Okay, I, I love swiping in navy, and this was a navy that I make up. These colours that I'm using today are um, Montmartre's uh, Studio Acrylics. I get them off the online supplier in the two litre. Um, yeah, the two litre, and, and I mean, that works great for me because I do a lot of pours. So I don't always do it this way by um, doing um, a base coat underneath. I mean, I'm not doing it because this needs an undercoat or anything. It's just the particular pour that I am going to do today that I just want to make sure I've got a nice cover under there so it can slip slide around. I don't worry too much about my edges because they, you know, over the sides because they can be finished off and they certainly can be finished off with your fingers, just with the colours, so not too worried about that. So this is a navy that I make up. I have done videos on colour making custom colours, but this is, I like to make the navies up because you can do it as light or as dark as you choose. Um, making the navy so I just use the dark blue which is oh, I always get asked the I use the phalo 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 blue I just put that in a cup and then I add a blob of black stir it and then I put the very dark green which is like a green a deep green, deep green just a blob at a time till I get the desired effect and of course, if I wanted to make, keep that blue and then use just white and add some of this navy to it, then it makes it a beautiful pale blue. So there's lots of things you can do with that, and I love it. So I'm going with a bit Christmassy colours. So I've made this, what I did, I put pearl white in, and then I just added a blob of that green deep until I got this, so it's nice, nice and pearly because it was pearl white and then I just added the blob of green deep until I got the colour that I wanted. So I'm going to do it in a, a round fashion like this because I'm doing a swirl, um, starbursty kind of thing happening here. So now this is just the green light I think it's called just green light from Studio Acrylics. Light green. <laughs> okay, light green. So my recipe to what I've used uh, to put in as my pouring medium, oh, I feel like so biting my ankle, um, is in the drop down box. You'll see a little V. If you press that, if you're on a computer or um, uh, I'm not sure even if it's on your phone, maybe the same. But yeah, you press that and it'll have uh, my recipe, my pouring medium recipe, which today I've used the glue all and water that I pre-mix up in the four litre container. So I've put, uh, I've got 70% of glue all and I add 30% of water, give it a real good shake. And then I've got that made up for my, to add to my paint. And I add it to my paint until it's the consistency of like a pouring cream. This one I have um, added a little bit more uh, pouring medium because I didn't want it so thick and gluggy because it's so warm, it will just go off really quick. So this is the Brilliant Red in the Montmartre, which is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All good, good, good. Okay, now this is the white, which I just added, it was just the brilliant white, but I added a bit of the pearl white to try and give it a little bit of sheen also. So, Ooh. very Christmassy colours, aren't they? And I've gone off tether, I should not have added that white in there because I was going to swipe with white. Now that's really thrown me. I shouldn't have added that white. Might have to change to plan 
B, C or D, whichever I get to. Uh, I just got this little bit of gold left. Now this was the gold pre-made paint and I didn't know if I could mix the two or whether it would crack. Might just add a bit on the very edges. Just a bit worried in case it makes my whole work because they might not go together because it's the pre-made pouring paint. So I'm just going to add it around the edge and a, and, a, and a bit everywhere else. Yeah, no, don't stick with the plan, Jill. Okay, now, should I? I was going to just put the white in the center. I might just have one little go at this because this was the white that I'd mixed just with a bit of flow troll that I was trying to get the lacing effect and I just wanted to see. I might just try it, if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna try, stop growling, you naughty dog. <laughs> um, okay, I need a little card, I'll use that one, just to try this white. I just wanna see if this particular white with the flow troll causes any oh. different kind of effect. My dog's growling there because he can see that I've left a little bit of bone in his, oh, wow, look at that. Looky, looky. Oh, well, that is pretty amazing. There you go, yes, had to give my dog his bone. That is quite astonishing. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was the white that I just made up a couple of days ago. Titanium white with the flow troll that I was using to do my bloom effect. And look at how it is making that pop. There you go. Okay, I'll ditch the card and go to my Swifty Swipe. I'll put the rest of this, I've only got a bit left. Like I said, it's been made up, oh, about a, more than a few days, I would say. So obviously still working, isn't it? Look at what it's doing here. Oh my God, I'm excited. I am excited. Quick with my Swifty Swipe. <laughs> I don't want anything to change. Um, I just want to make sure I've got the flow troll over the top to swipe with so it gives me that lovely lacing. Come on, I've only got a teeny tiny bit left. So now I know that when you swipe with that, that is just gorgeous. Just wiping my Swifty Swipe off in between the um, in between the swipes. Wow, we! That's pretty unbelievable. Okay, move that over there. Maybe I, need, I should have made up a smaller one as well. A smaller Swifty Swipe. We'll use that card again. Don't wanna, I don't wanna mess that up by... So I've got a bit more I'll use to swipe, swipe these last bits. Come on, stretch it. Well, there you go. That's very interesting, isn't it? That's given... Um, yeah, a whole different kind of lacing look to the top, doing it with the, just the flow troll over my um, paint that's mixed with the glue all. It's given this lovely lacing effect. Uh, excited about that, very excited. Keep working with it. Yeah, my Swifty Swipe comes in great when you've got a bigger canvas too, but I'm just thinking that I need to make the smaller, smaller Swifty Swipes, the, the swipe end smaller, smaller Swifty Swipe. Should 
be turning this around to me, making it easier for myself, and I'm doing it the hard way. But um, just trying to get every last drop of this lovely lacing uh, material. Okay, try it, try it again. Try the other side of my little piece of card. Yeah, there's no set way that you've got to do it in straight lines or do it whichever the way you feel you should. I just want to give any of you that knew that my friend Jill that had spent the last month with me and then who had followed our little art um, videos that we did together while she was here and she broke her arm quite badly while she was with me. She obviously has returned back to the UK. She said she couldn't fault the national health system in the UK because she went to the hospital the day she landed with the letter from the doctors from here in Australia. And they booked her in for the very next day for surgery to um, put some pins and plates in her arm. So she did a really good job of a break. Okay. That's a bit crazy all over the place now. I don't even need to, definitely don't even need to add a torch to that because that's like Cell City. But yeah, that's a little update on my beautiful friend, Jilly. Um, she's definitely on the mend um, and she's a little trooper because she never complained. You know, she had such a bad fall and she could have, you know, just wanted to, stop doing everything and lay low but she didn't so i just wanted to let you know that those that are asking julie's on the mend and doing really well hopefully she will have her own channel soon in the uk and um, we might do some collaborating i don't know how to do that with the video in i really don't so might have to ask our grown-up children what's what's the go but yeah so this is the Swifty Swipe Starburst. I've added no um, heat to this at all. Um, it'd be interesting if you do what I did. Look, it's Floetrol. I added, uh, um, what's it say? Art paint, I'll just put on there. I added the, I think it was the um, Studio Acrylic. And then I just added Floetrol till it got to a consistency that I, you know, believe would give a great wipe. But look at that. That's crazy cell city. It hasn't had no heat or nothing. It's celled up beautifully. I'll give you... There's the kookaburras. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That would make a nice jazzy clock, going back to the colours are looking uh, less Christmassy and more 70s, I must say. But that has got some awesome cells. That's beautiful, actually. That's really turned out well. Now it's exciting me to think of other colours that using that as just the swipe, even trying it with other, instead of just white, um, trying it with other colours to swipe over. So I am going to leave that, believe it or not. Um, you may see pictures appear and then you might say, Jill, you couldn't leave it alone, could you? Because you went and did some ballooning afterwards. Well, I might very well do that, but that's my prerogative. <laughs> but I'll leave this one with you with the um, spiral swifty swipe on the 35 centimeter MDF round. I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. So you can um, join me in my shenanigans and my paint journey. And I thank each and every one of you. So um, until next time, bye for now. Just coming back for a second. I knew you knew that I were coming back. I'm just going to um, put my balloon on it a little bit. I love it as it is, but I'm loving the colors that are coming up because I've got that navy underneath. 
and just pushing this little out. This is not the one that I've got filled with water, but I just did these few and they look so nice because they're coming through, the navy's coming through that I had sitting on the bottom. And I'm doing it like, this has gone like a bit egg shape, or should I say it's gone pear shape. So I just wanted to do a few balloon kisses while you're here to watch. So you say to me afterwards, if you see the photos, you didn't show us that. And I wish you had of, so I have to do it. But obviously for the ones that didn't want to go that tad further with the balloon work, then you finish your piece if you're uh, doing the same. You don't add the balloon work if you don't want it. So it's all a personal choice. And I love, love, love what the balloon helps me achieve. Bring up from underneath. I love it. So I'm going to give the balloon a bit of a whirl on this one. So this isn't my water balloon, this is just the ordinary balloon. If it was drier, a little tad drier, I'm really messing there, it would, the water balloon would work excellent, but this is a bit wet, but because it's such a hot day, I'm just worried about leaving it even for a short amount of time. Um, you know, it would dry and go quite tacky quickly. And I just really love that I can bring that navy up underneath through some of these beautiful colours there, actually. Yeah, it does look like a bit 70s psychedelica, which it was supposed to be Christmas, so there you go. Oh, now I've splodged that one too much. Let's try again. I'll bring some colour from somewhere else into the blue. That's fine. Okay, I am gonna leave that like that. That is gorgeous. I really love that. And as I, I tell you every time, it's not nobody else's opinion, it's your opinion and what you feel happy with. You're doing the work and it's what you feel happy with. You start and end with what you're feeling is right for your piece. And if you don't like any of it, then you just scrape it, it's just paint. But that is gorgeous and I love it. And that is going to be a Christmas gift for somebody because I will let it dry. I'll either have it as a wall hanging or I will um, put the clock mechanism, make it a clock. Somebody said, put just do the balloon kisses where the 12, 9, 3 and 6 are going to be instead of um, numbers, which is a good idea. But until next time, see you again. Thank you.